What's going on guys? It's your boy Peter and I'm back again with another video. Um, today I'm going to be talking about how long does it take to get your AME license. So that's your Aircraft Maintenance Engineering license here in Canada. Um, there are two ways to get your AME license. So the first way is to find a school here in Canada that has the course of an Aircraft Maintenance Engineer. You apply for your admission, you get your admission. Then usually most of the college, most of the colleges here um, are always two years. Uh, it's a two-year program. So during your two years, you have to make sure you pass each courses with 70%. So that way, when you graduate, you can have your accreditation. Without accreditation, most companies will not hire you. So you got to make sure you pass your courses with 70%. So that way you can get accreditation. So that way it's easier for you to get your apprenticeship job. So once you graduate, you get your diploma, you get your apprenticeship job. Um, usually it takes two years, two to three years for most people to, you know, pass that apprenticeship, get their logbook signed. And also during your apprenticeship, there's a book called Logbook. Um, that way, Logbook, it's a book that has different taxes. So that way you can sign each taxes and show to your AME license guy. That way you can put his license number and a signature. So after you sign your, I think it's about 185, 185 taxes you have to get signed as like 70% of the taxes of the logbook. That way you can send it to Transport Canada. They can reveal it and that way they can also book it for your AME license exam. Um, and that's why I tell most people, you know, when you get your apprentice job, you gotta take your logbook more serious because a lot of people get so focused during work and they forget about their logbook and they take even longer in their apprenticeship bro in their, i'm doing their apprenticeship program um i was almost there you know i was not really that focused on my apprenticeship on my logbook and um it took me a little bit longer you know and i also have friends that you know they got this job and they were not focused on their logbook so you know for every apprentice going out there once you get your apprentice job i want you to focus more on your logbook you know, getting every single taxes signed up. That way, your, your AME license don't take too long. So the second way of getting your AME license is to find an apprentice, um, an apprentice job. So once you find your apprentice job, instead of two years, it takes four years. So that way, you can do your apprenticeship program for four years. After that four years, then you're, you can write your exam. But the only problem is, for guys that go to school for two years, you only like your, I think it's one exam. We only write one exam called the CARS exam. And for guys that have that four years apprenticeship, you have to write, I think, five exams. There's a list, you can go to Transport Canada, there's a bunch of, bunch of list of exams you gotta take. Um, so yeah, those are the two ways you can get your AMA license. And for me, usually guy, I would say the fastest way is to um, go to school for two years. So you can actually have the basic knowledge of how things work right so that way it's way more easy for you to do your apprenticeship instead of going to you know to not get an apprentice job and most companies will not hire guys that don't have um, a school background you know unless if you're really lucky and you have connections with, like different companies and that way you can get a job easy but most companies right now are looking for guys that has that um educational background you know but yeah those are the two ways to get your ame license here in canada um, if you guys have any questions, let me know. You can drop it down in the comment section. Don't forget to follow me on Instagram. That's at Peter Janet. That's Peter P E T E R J A N D E D. And you can also send me mails, emails, whatever. I'm always ready to help you guys, man. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and share this video. Love you.